It looked like Walmart owed us some money. Someone did mention um, medications coming in at it. Even with tomatoes, this is not usual. I mean, I know we be low over here in my parts of New Jersey, but. Hey fam, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be discussing how Walmart may owe you and I some money. The video that you're seeing on screen is just an older Walmart walkthrough that's playing in the background. If you want to watch this full video, you could watch it above here it'll be linked above here or it'll be in a pinned comment down below so this is shauna and i'm officially checking in over here at moments with us you guys check in let us know where you are watching from and how you are doing because today we're gonna find out how walmart might owe us some money all right so a lot of the family over here including myself do shop at walmart so walmart do have a 45 million dollar settlement um, so if you bought meat or bag citrus, you may be eligible for up to $500, but it's not a whole, oh, you're going to get $500 if you bought meat or any type of oranges or, you know, something like that from Walmart. It don't work like that. So what's happening is Walmart did agree to pay out $445 million in their settlement. So what was happening was Walmart scale was technically pricing more than what the item actually weighs so walmart's 45 million dollar settlement includes anyone yes anyone who actually went and bought weighted groceries at walmart um so according to the settlement it covers anyone who bought weighted goods or bag citrus in person at a walmart store between october 19 2018 y'all all the way until January 19th, 2024. Um, anything that has weighted goods is defined as wow, beef, chicken, pork, turkey, and other meats, as well as seafood that is sold by the pound. So they do have a complete list. This particular article, I would leave in a pinned comment down below so you can get your money because that's all the way from 2018 to 2024. Yeah, I know my how much stuff I bought from Walmart. That's possibly weighted. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get some of that settlement money. I don't care if it's a few dollars. I'm going to get some of that settlement money. So that article will tell you exactly how to go ahead and put your name on that settlement list. So the suit claims Walmart point of sale machines artificially raise the weight of goods when marked as a discounted price. Of course, causing the total price to be more than advertised. It also claims the bag produce weights exceeded the actual weight of the product, resulting in customers paying more. Exactly. Also, goods that were nearing expiration and marked with a yellow sticker were sold at a higher price than the pre-unit price and indicated. Walmart denies any wrongdoing and the settlement is awaiting court approval. They better approve it because I want my money. So if the settlement is approved, shoppers without a receipt or proof of purchase who attest their purchase, one through 50 products will receive $10. So if you purchase 50 products, you want to get 10 ten dollars okay so claimants who bought 51 through 75 products will receive fifteen dollars okay um so those who i'm getting very discouraged reading this so those who purchase 76 items 76 through 100 products will receive twenty dollars okay and claimants who purchase 1010 more products will receive to you gotta purchase over am i reading that right 1,010 or more products will receive $25. I know I'm not driven. Okay, so is it worth it? Let's see. You got to click on this topclassactions.com. Um, follow article, yada, yada, weighted goods. Okay, go, go, go down, 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 down. Just want to show you guys this. Click here to file a claim. So it does have the claim form here. And you got to put your information and some of this stuff, you just be skeptical with it, though. Um, if this is correct, you go ahead and you put in your information. If you receive the personalized notice via email with the notice ID and confirmation code, please enter it down below. If any of you actually ever submitted a claim this way, let me know in the comments down below. Because I feel as if with Walmart, at least, 
I know for the recent years, they can track most of the orders online, especially if you have a Walmart account and you have used your card. Um, you should automatically receive a notice in the mail. Simple as that. Because everything is online. They know what you bought and all of that stuff is being tracked. But for the prior years, I'm not too sure how... I'm not too sure how any of that is being tracked. Um, yeah, but for the recent years, all of that stuff is online. If you bought it, you'll see it online. And so would the company already be notified and know who bought what. But as far as that whole reported claim through that website there... Um, I never reported a claim like that. So definitely just be careful with sending your information out. And if it's worth it, it's worth it. And if it's not, then it's not. So go ahead and proceed, but with caution. So hopefully that does help someone. If you plan to file a claim, let us know in the comments down below. I think I'm just going to go ahead and file my claim because yeah, I'm sure my, my little things that I'd be spending up in Walmart would add up, but I'm going to get my claim money and then I'm going to spend it right back at Walmart. But that's the honest truth, y'all. This is Shauna. I'm officially checking out from Moments with us. Everything will be in the pin comment down below if you're looking for it. Um, you all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. If you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, all you have to do is subscribe, turn your notification bell so you will not miss an upload. Until next time, y'all, stay beautiful, queens and kings. I'm officially up out of here. Peace.